back in Bangkok for a couple of days again, um, eating uh, at our favorite food stall. And um, this is the best pad thai I think I've ever had, and uh, we'll enjoy it in a moment when he brings it to me. And we've been talking as we're walking on the street, and one of these days I think we're just going to come to Bangkok and not leave. Um, the city is so cool. It's so cool. Uh, it's like, um, it's just so exciting. And after, I mean, and after we know it well, because we were here for a month, and after being all over Thailand, all over Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Jakarta, all over Indonesia, um, and coming back here, it's, it's just an awesome, uh, awesome city. It really does stick out. Most backpackers, they hate it, but uh, those people are idiots because they all like Chiang Mai and they think that's awesome. That's just ridiculous. So, um, if I had the means at the moment, I think I'd stay here for another month, but our visa is only for 30 days and it's just complicated. So, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll work that out some other day, but um, not now. We are back in Bangkok and I'm so happy right now. I don't even... Yay. What were you gonna ask? I was gonna say, how do you feel about Bangkok? I can have cauliflower and chicken. <laughs> Take that, Indonesia. Exactly. <laughs> cauliflower, finish. Chicken, finish. <laughs> Indonesia, finish. We're back in Bangkok, and one of our favorite things about Bangkok is the sweet treats. Mm. We're gonna make out! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's basically a bar of nougat with peanuts in it, and that's it. And they might be a little different, but they kind of taste the same. I don't know. I can't tell. This one's this one's browner. Uh, that's my. Give it. Mmm. I think this has got more like of a caramelized than that one. That one's harder. They're good. 30 cents a piece. Sip up. Sip up. I also got some uh, pineapple today, which was amazing because nobody else seems to have really good pineapple like Thailand does. And they only charge you, again, sip up. 30 uh, cents for half a pineapple. We're walking next to an outdoor lingerie store, which tends to happen a lot. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Was, they've had them in Singapore too. So if you need your panties, you don't gotta go indoors. You just be on the street. We're back in the MRT in Bangkok, and this is another one of the rules. And um, they are speci specifying no durians. No durians. And let's ask Katie how she feels about this rule. This is the best rule they've ever come up with. <laughs> Who cares about the other nine rules as long as there's no durian? Just not a big fan of the flavor of a durian. At a really loud, ritzy um, food court, essentially, in Bangkok. We're in, let's see if I can remember what mall we're in. Paragon, I think. <laughs> yeah, who knows. Anyway, I'm having some food, and this is apparently a Japanese dish I've never had before in the sauce. It looks like a gravy, but it's kind of like a... Um, sweet and spicy type thing but it's not sweet and sour sauce at all but it's like it is both sweet and spicy um the meat is beef and this is an egg and the egg goes all the way to this outer rim all the way around the plate and then when you cut the egg open inside is rice and it's not blowing my mind the sauce is okay um, the egg is really good, but um, it's not blowing my mind, but it's not bad. It's interesting more than anything. And then the soup that they gave me with it is a um, kind of like a miso soup a little bit, but not exactly the same thing. And it's got these vegetables in it. And Katie just got a bowl of soup that she's been craving for a while. And that, everybody, is what's for dinner. Chinese New Year has landed in Bangkok and these decorations are pretty cool. Kind of feels like uh, Christmas meets 4th of July. We walked out here and it actually smelt like 4th of July. They must have been shooting something off before we got off of the BTS. So 
It's been a pretty good sight to see all the Christmas lights again. It's odd that they would be back in, in February, so you know it's pretty cool. Excited? You know who's going to be excited? Who? The Dragon Guy! The Dragon Guy! <laughs> <laughs> This is the amazing pad thai guy that we come to from now on again. And this is him making my pad thai. So he has this walk over here. Clearly. <laughs> and um, rinses everything out, puts it into the slot bucket. <laughs> rinses it out again. So it's very hygienic. I mean, it may be in a garage, basically but it's hygienic. And there go our ingredients. A few things there, some oil. And he starts to cook it on down. This may be somebody else's because he just put shrimp in it because I uh, ordered chicken, but if I get shrimp, that's okay, I guess. And um, there's a little bit of his noodle. Breaks that off. That was awesome. And I'm not sure what's in that. Some sort of uh, oil or something. But it looks like water. But these other, well, it could be water. It's just strange he didn't use the other bucket for it. He has two sources of water. He has me tricked. And then I already went down and got my drinks. One's Katie's. And then over here you've got your fixins. It's a hot spice here and then sugar and then peanuts and then um, limes and his basket of eggs and oh, my egg just went in and now the slot bucket goes to trash and that is about what you get for making a thing of pad thai In Bangkok, we did some relaxing. Um, I actually went and got a Thai massage for the first time, which was really amazing. The lady was outstanding. I seriously think she could kill a man with just her thumb. It basically was a lot of uh, pressure point pushing, and uh, she did some really cool things. She cut off the uh, circulation to my leg, and she held it there for about 30 seconds, and you could feel all the blood rush back into it. It was really cool. And she bent me over her knees, like backwards, and cracked my back a lot. And it was just really good. I would recommend it to anyone. Uh, the Thai massage. Go to the Watfo school. They live up to the reputation. It's really, really good. Uh, another thing that we did, we spent a good amount of time at the movie theater because there's. No other good movie theaters, apparently, in Southeast Asia. So we went to the Paragon, which is one of their big malls that has an incredible movie theater. And we went and saw Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, which we thought was probably not going to be very good, and it turned out to be really funny. And it's in 3D, and the 3D isn't bad. And it was it was good. We both left going really, we were really happy that we had seen it. And then the next movie we saw was Avatar. And I think it lived up to what everybody's saying about it. It's a good movie. Storylines kind of Pocahontas meets The Matrix and the 3D wasn't bad. You didn't sit there for three hours thinking you were going to throw up or get a headache from the 3D, so that's good. 3D is getting better. <laughs> and um, it was a really good movie. Um, both movies were in the same kind of movie theater where we got a luxurious seat to sit in and it was just really, really nice. So we got to do a little relaxing in Bangkok. Ah. This is our train that we'll be taking to the border of Laos. And it's really long. We're car number three, and this is car number like a billion and four or something. <laughs> car number 13. Ten more cars, and it's really thick. It smells like fuel, and it's typical Southeast Asia. Dragging it!